Now to some more news this afternoon. If you see something, say something. The National Security Ministry has launched the See Something, Say Something campaign aimed at encouraging the citizenry to, to report suspicious characters as the country has been warned of a potential terrorist attack. Now this campaign is about bringing the citizenry and communities together to keep the nation safe in the wake of an imminent terror attack. Now, let me take you through some uh, counterterrorism uh, tips there and my colleague uh, Dennis Vidan will break it down for us. So, Dennis, let's start off with suspicious behavior. Yeah. When it comes to suspicious behavior, what should we do? Well, so suspicious behavior in the first place is um, anything that you see or you hear which you think potentially poses a, a risk or is something which suggests terrorism or any of those threats. So when you see any of such behaviors, the first thing to do is to report it. Yeah, but how can you tell that what this individual is doing is suspicious? Well, so they've given us some indicators that, for instance, if in your neighborhood you have seen that somebody is hiring vehicles at a larger volume than reasonable, then you have cause to, to, to believe that that is suspicious behavior. Mm. If somebody also goes about taking notes and looking at security installations, taking photos and all of that, it also amounts to suspicious behavior. Or if you see somebody um, who is just walking about, not knowing his way or her way, you have reason to raise alarm on that. Mm. They're also looking at um, things like people who are holding passports and other documents, which you believe they are not for them, they also amount to suspicious behavior. So those things, among other things, mm. um, a part of what we call suspicious behavior for which you must report immediately if you see them or hear them. Now that's the question. How yeah. do you report these so if, suspicious behaviors? So by way of reporting, you can call the number 999 or you can, call, you can report to your chief or your local authorities, your DC, MC, or any relevant authority in that particular space. In, in case there is an attack, yeah. what can one do? So the attacks may be in various forms. So if it has to do with what we call the shooter, in that case, the first thing to do is to run if there's an opportunity. You run for your life. Do not run having in mind that you want to salvage any personal belongings. No. The, the, the first instruction is that once that happens, run. In the event that you cannot run, you're advised to hide. If you cannot also, if you run and you hide, the next thing for you to do is to tell. And by telling, that means trying to reach out to somebody or to, uh, uh, to report like we mentioned earlier. Mm. So it depends on the situation. Now, okay. when it has to do with... Um, an explosion, An perhaps. explosion, for instance, if it's in a confined area, the first instinct for you is to get to safety first. So just look out for the emergency exits and get out there for your life. Mm. And, and then, then while in there too, if you can also try to protect your nose, your, your, nose, I mean your nose or mm. your nostrils, yes, so dust does not get inside there. Mm. So those are the things that you need to look out when okay. the, ex, um, the, the attack is the form of explosion. And how about a chemical attack? So when it's about chemical, what it means is that they are likely to harm you either by putting some chemicals in the air or in water. or It in has radiation. Radiation or those things. So what you need to do is to try to protect your breath. So you have to co cover your nose and your mouth just so the chemical doesn't get into you. And like Willie said, the first thing is for you to get out of that space if the opportunity presents itself. If you cannot hide at a place um, where you, there are strong things that will cover you, and if the opportunity presents itself again, now blow the alarm. And get to safety. Now, uh, the minister is also talking about uh, when you see someone in a backpack in a crowded place in a church, you know. But in this day and age, they are sophisticated gadgets, really. So, do you think this is realistic from where you sit? Well, all those are suspicious behaviors. So, it's better for you to report such instances. And if um, investigations are conducted or you are taken to safety, and then it turns out that that person is not as suspicious as you thought, it's better to be in that space rather than um, just letting it pass and it turns out to be a terrorist attack or something. Thank you so much for your time. Dennis Wadam there is with the News Planning Desk.